with the appeal, they convinced the pious says not out, and now it's going to be reviewed. Oh, he's gone up straight away. Umpire Rod Tucker, the more experienced of the two umpires standing out there. He has, he made the call. And we have Umpire Marie Rasmus in the hot seat to make the decision on this. Legal delivery, but a beautiful ball. Had to play at it, Kaushal Silva. There's a sound, and they were certainly confident. They went up instantaneously. Always difficult to pick up the actual deviation. Beautiful delivery. Not seeing any daylight, but again, remember the original decision was not out. Let's have a listen. It's very important. A certain noise, and in that slow mo, we did make sure that he, his bat did not hit the bat. His, his bat did not hit the pad, I should say. Umpire Erasmus explaining to him why he's going to call for the decision to be overturned. Yeah! And there it is, confirmation. <laughs> Success for the West Indies in the first over. Oh, big blow. Kaushal Silva, the batsman under pressure, has to go. Had to play at that. A perfect delivery to receive first up. West Indies strike early. It's one for one. Much Raider runs. First boundary for Sri Lanka. Fortunate though. That's beautifully played. Didn't quite get the foot across, but just stroked it through the line, timed it beautifully. Asking the question, that's given. That is a good delivery. This angling in from round the wicket. And Karna Ratna is considering a review. Ten seconds. But don't forget, the umpire has given him, he's reviewed it, but the umpire has ruled him out. So the on-field decision is out. This would be a big wicket for the West Indies. This would be huge. Check first from the bowler's end if there was any problem there. Legal delivery. Let's see where it ends up. No bat involved. It looked to be angled in. It just needs to be clipping the stump. Since the on-field decision is out. Was coming in on the angle. So it's a matter now of whether or not it would have clipped the stumps. From where we are. It looks like it could have been missing leg stump. So but it should be a very close thing. Here it is in on the angle and hitting now. That's hitting the outside of leg stump, I reckon. Matter of yeah, fact, it's hitting it flush. Yeah. So on-field decision stays and Karna Ratna has to go for West Indies pick up their second wicket Jason Holder good piece of bowling and Karna Ratna has to make his way back for just 13 with Sri Lanka 34 for 2 Holder asking the wicket keeper. And there we go. Got the breakthrough in the very first over by using the review. So a lot happening. 
by Murray Erasmus called yeah. into the action once again. Huh? Yep, legal delivery from Kima Roach. Let's have a listen. Important. Now he's played a long way off from the body. Definite noise, Bish. Now we're looking for daylight between ball and bat. Some fire fries initial decision was not out, and hence Jason Holder opting to go upstairs. The West Indies get another. The debutante goes. <laughs> She's got two right, Jason Holder, this morning. Sri Lanka are now in trouble. 13 to Mendes, 34 for three. Thing. Missing leg that time. The angle was greater. Oh, they're still having the discussion. Holder checking with his wicket keeper, and yes, well, he's had a good day. Go with the flow. He wasn't too confident. The call came from behind the stumps, though. Hitting him below the knee roll. So he's cleared a few angles up, and now it depends what Hawkeye tells him. Yep. Tall man, no surprises. It's tough for him to hit those stumps. He's got to be very full. Jason Holder. So they lose a review. Here we go, first ball in test cricket. And it is hit for four. Yeah, yeah, I'm taken. Oh, is he? Just checking to make sure that it would have carried. Craig Braffitt, the man. They're insisting that it did. And let's have a look and see. This looks as if it went straight in. Rathwaite is confident. Let's have another look. In, is it? Uh, that looks as if it's gone straight in. I'd say that's out, and I think the third umpire is going to agree with me. As we suspected, Rod Tucker puts the finger up and Angelo Matthews has to go. So just as the West Indies wanted, separating this pair, Angelo Matthews shaking his head in disappointment. Almost everything going the West Indies way so far on the first morning. After they've lost the toss, he's gone for 14, 59 for four. Just a little bit too short. Now that's a free hit. That will race away to the boundary. Ah! Clean him up. It's Chandimal. Taylor strikes a big blow for the Windies. Well, he's been struck on the pad a number of times, Chandimal with that delivery coming in. He's getting an inside edge or the ball bouncing too high. This one didn't bounce too high. Hit the inside edge again, as we've seen so many times this morning, and into the stumps. Well needed wicket and a deserved wicket for Jerome Taylor. Five wickets down now for Sri Lanka. So West Indies look to really put the pressure on. Dinesh Shandimal goes for 25. It's 90 for five. That's 
Very well played. That's a sweet drive by Sirivardana. That will race away for four. Looks so pretty when he plays shots like that. Nice lofted shot. Good meaty blow from Sirivardana. Yes! Yeah! Easy. Easy. A full toss. He <laughs> probably the worst ball that he's bowled generally because it hasn't landed but his first test wicket and you never forget your first Kusal Pereira he'll be so disappointed that was a free hit in fact and all he's done is hit it back to Warrington he's looked busy he looked like he was looking to change this game high full toss Catch it if you can, and what it can dance. So the wickets continue to tumble for Sri Lanka. Kusal Pereira caught and bowled Warrikan. None of us can believe that he's done that. Maiden wicket to Warrikan. Kusal Pereira. He made 16. It's 127 for six. Thing spiraling. Lovely shot from the Siriwadana. Good use of the feet. Again. Just to the left of us. 50 for Siriwadana. Maiden half century. It's been a top knock under pressure. Accumulated initially and now he's opening out. Man of the moment, Siriwadana getting to his uh, first test match half century. In his second test match, failed to score in goal. That's good work from Ramdin. And they're going to have a look, I think. Difficult take. Batsman pretty much covers it. It's 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 pitching right full. are broken now and I don't think that foot the foot is now grounded it's about matching up the pictures here when does the camera move the camera moves there indicating that the stumps will hit with the gloves while the foot is in the air but it doesn't actually tell you when the bales are out of the groove from this angle so it's a very difficult one for the television umpire. I'd be intrigued to see what he comes up with. Murray Rasmus. Yeah, that looks as though it was in the air when the bales were broken, Jeffrey, so it could be out. Yes, it's going to be given out, I reckon. Yeah. And it is. Well, we asked for the defender of issue to bowl some more full deliveries, get the batsman to come forward. He's complied. And it's meant the wicket of Pereira. I think it's good work by the third umpire as well. Goes for five. 149 for seven. Do that. That's what you need to do when it is short, and uh, when you when you can hit it, hit it hard. Yeah! Down the track. This is high. Down to log off. It's yeah! taken on the boundary. That's the wicket they wanted. Jerome Taylor is the catcher. Melinda Sirivardana looking to clear the long off fieldsman. He certainly had. A lot more to do for Sri Lanka. He should be disappointed. And that is the wicket the West Indies want. Had the right idea. But got a little too close to it. Got the bottom of the bat. Just hit flat and hard. Not enough elevation. Well judged though. <coughs> but so close to that rope. But Jerome Taylor knew exactly where he was. He was not taking a step back. 
Wonderful knock from Sirivardhana comes to an end. 68 to him. It's 173 for eight. Short again. And one, two bounds, four. What a way to bring it up. Thousand runs in test cricket. Now joining an elite club with this impressive swing over long leg. You get a good ball like that, Warwick on strikes again, then you have to take it. He's had a good test match debut for someone who missed the first test. Yes, you'll certainly remember this day. Pitching and turning, not a whole lot, but enough to take the edge. Ramden sharp behind the stumps. And a third wicket for the new man, Jamal Warrikan. Amika Prasad, will he be bowling sometime this evening? He's gone for seven, it's 200 for nine. Ah! That's a good shout, and yes, given him. Reviewing it, they're gonna use the review that's available. That looked pretty plumb. Just checking to see whether the front foot was, uh, part of it was behind the line, yep. Legal from a front foot perspective. Look to have landed straight on the boot of Pradeep. Hit in line and hitting off stump. Umpire's call and that's going to be the end of the innings. A fourth wicket for Jamal Warrikan. It's been a pretty good effort overall for the West Indies. Whatever their stumbles along the way, they've had a pretty good effort, and especially this man. And uh, the West Indies captain will be happy with the way things have turned out. That's a little bit too close for the full shot, but he manages to hit it well, or maybe the bounce didn't bounce as high as he expected, but still gets the boundary. That is a big appeal and there's no question from the umpire's finger goes up immediately. It's definitely caught him on the crease. So the first wicket for Sri Lanka, hope is out. Well, that has been the problem for the West Indies. They haven't been backing the good bowling performances. He went nowhere. Just stuck in the crease. Stuck in the crease and quite adjacent to the stumps. And Damik Prasad, as usual, has been so good with the new ball. Strikes. Hope for four. LBW. West Indies, seven for one. Ah, yes, I've been told that it's only spin. But still, it's quite dark. It is quite dark, and I think it would be very reasonable. Not even the fielding team would blame them for saying, well, let's go. And good decision made in the end. Maybe a little late, I would have gone off a little sooner, but looks as if they've, they've called a halt to proceedings and not too soon. There is a lot of rain coming. The ground staff can get a head start covering the pitch and the players can go inside and think about their several strategies 